Welcome back to Conscious Ignorance, the podcast. Um, you see, got you know some guests here today. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on YouTube. Um, share with a friend of a friend on all the other streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple, and all of that. Um, starting from the right, we got JC here. Right here next to JC, we have Georgie. Uh, myself, Kel Boogie. To my left, Kelsey. Janelle. What the fuck is she? What was that name again? I'm so bad. I don't think the people heard you. You know. Oh and Georgie, <laughs> Georgie snorting already. Just, just, just door two. <laughs> if Vanessa here, just checking in. <laughs> <laughs> if you wonder why we're so crowded today, um, and not. Let me just tell you about the table, bro. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna just move on the table. If you wonder why we're so no, crowded, we're and not at Mama Stella's right now. Mama Stella's kind of busy today with COVID Thanks to us. Like yeah, that. you know what I'm saying that plug is. You know what I'm saying we got Mama Stella's popping. You know what I'm saying so. Uh, no cap. <laughs> <laughs> Go get the laptops. Um, but besides that, we have a lot of of our um, I can't say female have woman mm-hmm. guests today because we have our woman friends on the show today because mm-hmm. we're gonna be discussing some topics that we felt like as men we definitely needed like a woman presence and it'd be irresponsible for us not to have women voice on women issues and we didn't want just our toxic at toxic asses right this shit we can't toxic. relate to or what? don't know about I'm not toxic, I'm toxic. toxic as fuck. Not to- well, we're not gonna do that bad. Uh, audience <laughs> <laughs> we'll get, you know what we'll get, we'll get to that later one out of ten yeah. we'll, to we'll get that to the games we we'll get to yeah. the games we'll get we'll to do, we get to games we did it before but it's nice for a refresher <laughs> who is the most toxic amongst not only the men but the ladies uh <laughs> Yeah, George is the most toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, combined, but that's neither here nor there. But we just let them listen to. If you're on social media at all, especially Twitter, you probably already saw that J Cole was getting like crucified, killed for uh, the the um, song that he put out in, in relation to what's going on. Um, I'll read. You guys listen to the song. We just let y'all listen to the song. So I'll read kind of why. Uh, it was assumed, I guess, that he put that song. Oh, Georgie got niggas. But we, <laughs> we'll read. I'll read why he uh, put that song out. Uh, it was an artist by the name of No Name, who's really an artist, but more so an activist now um, in the community doing the work. I never, I never heard. Of she's her a rapper. I don't. I she think is she... a rapper, but she's like very social conscious. Yeah. Like she has like a book club. Like oh, yeah. if you look at her Twitter, it's just all tweets about you know what I'm saying. Like, what's going know. on right now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she tweeted, "Poor black folks all over the country are putting their bodies on the line in protest for our collective safety, and y'all favorite top selling rappers not willing to put a tweet up. Niggas whole discographies be about black plight, and they nowhere to be found. So when I read that, I thought about Kendrick Lamar, and of course. Kind of J. Cole, but more so Kendrick, because he's definitely more, mm. you know what I'm saying? But uh, I guess in response to the song, I seen social media react to it. Did you guys see any of the tweets? How about you, Janelle? No, Kelsey? <coughs> Janelle's on the spot? Yeah. Georgie. We got a little bit. They got to warm up. <laughs> Let's talk uh, amongst each other, and then we'll bring them in. They'll, um, they'll come okay. in and jump in. Okay, right. yeah. I'll, so we'll, oh, go ahead. Now you're ready to talk. Okay, ahead. so, well, I mean, this was my first time listening to the song. So, like, I saw on Twitter, like, yeah, J. Cole is canceled, and, you know, people are not fucking with him right now. But I'm just like, why? But... I mean, now listening to the song, I can kind of see why. Like, he does. Mm, kind of. Where, okay, quick question. Okay. Where in the song did you see that? When well, he talks about tone. Where did he say? Where did he mention that at? He he, he literally he said. I no no no. I'm just saying where. Towards the beginning, I don't know. Like. So you don't know where he's. He just know he's he at. Like, like, line, 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 like, line eight. eight. I don't about, know. This, but he, he talked about her tone. One time. But the issue with that is like you it's cannot. A song. How many times you gonna reiterate? He was yeah. talking about yeah. he betrayed the people, the same people who called him hero, something like that. Like, mm-hmm. so I'm just like, no. Well, I mean, I think well, I took issue with him talking about her tone because that's just that just goes on the whole like stereotype like angry black woman. Right. You know what I'm right. Saying? Quick, quick, okay, so if he would say check your tone to a nigga, would it have been a different? Y'all don't say that to each other. Y'all don't say that to each other. We do say watch, watch your mouth, watch who you talking to. Oh, oh, relax. Yeah. We you said to, we, we said to women before I we said to men. Say, yeah, I guess so. I, I guess. I guess. Well, I don't know because it depends. I guess it depends. And I you just don't think that you should be policing someone's tone in a time like this. Like, she's allowed to be angry. Or get defensive at a time like this. Mm-hmm. Like, ego I agree. is not necessary. I'll tell you what I think about the song. The song was, it was a good song, you know put together well but the whole you know when he was saying like she said the tone and he was basically saying you should go about this a different way i think the message behind the song was good but what he said just wasn't the you know he didn't get the response he thought he was gonna get 
So him saying that he wanted to, he wanted her to basically go out and just start telling all the people who don't feel the way she does to, you know, actually, you know, get involved in Black Lives Matter and stuff like that, instead of like downing them, instead of just bringing them up. I think it. it mm. Go ahead. That's what I got from it. I had no problem with the. I had no problem with anything he did or said. Like my one, if he felt some type of way. That, that's his that's his choice and his in his opinion feels some type of way you can't tell some like we said you can't tell someone he felt he was getting attacked all he his best thing was yo just watch how you talking to me you can't tell right. someone how to react when they're being when they feel like they're being attacked that, though i feel like you can, there was there was no time a song in support yeah. of black lives matter or something he, in support not oh my feelings are hurt because somebody said he I'm did. not doing enough like he did he did well he did sound a little butt hurt, but, he, but he's been he's been out in the streets he j cole's whole career he's never been a social media person True. so he's always been i guess about I actually I've yeah I, the he's rapped like, about social injustice I think, before so, so i mean i think we so take when you say when you say when you say something like you don't think it's the right time for that, but then you have like people, some not as many women, but you have some people because like on the timeline at first it was all Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, all of that, and then I mean we all seen like the the timeline kind of come to where it was like Black Lives Matter and sexual assault, and then my whole mm -hmm. thing with that was you have some people like let's focus on one thing at a time, but my thing is with that I'm not a woman, never experienced. I mean, I have serious sex. We talked about that, but like on a se severe seriousness level of what women go through and experience, I haven't experienced that. So I can't tell women, no, it's not the time for you to talk about sexual assault because that would be rude to me. So you're saying, you're telling him, no, it's not the time to talk about that. But this so it's like feelings, it's, though. This isn't like some oppression or some social. Like, I think oh, you hurt my feelings. Because like, I think man. when you talk about that, you kind of like, with me, it's more so like you scared to say something when he i kind of see what he was saying like i can respect what you're saying like about the tone thing you know what i'm saying like especially when you see the stereotype of a black woman being ang angry, not, all well, the time. angry loud it's, and stuff yeah. like that so i can see that but no, when no. like further on the verses when he said uh probably towards the end of the song when he kind of like mentioned that he felt like that he said I, if i could get one more like suggestion or whatever like i feel like everybody in these times should be like taken on as like a child like explain like dumb this shit down explain it to me and shit because even when i had a conversation with somebody they was like read a book or some shit like that i'm like yo you obviously <laughs> done the knowledge and i what books do i read number one can you can we have a conversation about it first then <clears throat> when i scratch the surface then can i go do my own research but that's just i want to take that yeah and run with that a little bit go ahead so it's so yeah it's so easy it's so easy for people to be like do your research because yesterday i was at motella and you know the i don't know who i think it was like tcb was on the they were on the bike the lead person was just like yeah like do your research like you know mm. look what you're getting into it's so easy for you to do your research but then like are you actually ready to have the conversation though like right. mm. that's the whole thing and it's like you so, can go read a book right we all can you know we can all go like look google shit up but it's just like are we actually ready to have the conversation that's how i feel so, about i'm more willing to have the conversation and then go do it but then you get people saying no you need to go read the book like now you chastising me about like I'm not about to go. I'm, I'm okay, be honest. I got, I got, I got a quick question. I need you to. I got a quick question. Has anybody seen the Dave Chappelle uh, special that he did, yeah. like regarding this, where he was basically saying the reason why he won't come out or say because he's like, people don't want to hear from us. Like, I'm not in the streets right now. I'm not. I'm not a regular person. He's getting treated differently than me. And you would get treated. Right. Or J Cole's getting no names getting treated than we are. So yeah, it's not. He feels like it's not his place to to say something. Yeah, he's he said it's the streets turn. Let the streets talk. He's like, just like I was like, no one wants to hear Ja Rule speak at a, like, a time like this. No one wants to hear Dave Chappelle speak at a time like this. I think it's a double-edged sword for that. Because mm -hmm. you can't use your platform to promote all your comedian shit, all your music, all your all this other shit. But as soon as it comes to black people, be, oh, I ain't, I'm too quiet. Oh, I don't want to talk about this but shit. Now. The but thing is, watch, like, he you does, do it, but yeah. if you do it, if you watch his stand-up, you know he, he talks he's never shot away well, from any of these topics. Well, yeah. so I'm, I'm um, generalizing okay. every, all, oh, okay, all, okay, okay, all okay. Uh, you know, the... You know the celebrities, the celebrities who, yeah. has, who haven't spoke up, or the ones who even spoke up and just said some stupid shit. Right. Like okay. I don't. I think you know, as a celebrity, you definitely use your platform to you know push the agenda for us. But you don't have to actually make statements. You, you can be just, an activist, right? You don't have to be an activist. Just repost something. Just spread awareness about articles you read. You don't have to actually be the one to. Oh, I feel I got this platform. I gotta be the one to come out with a a, a good statement so they can repost it. No, you don't have to be that person. Quick, quick, quick. So I don't I don't know if y'all watched our I don't know if it was the last episode of episode before that, but we basically said like <clears throat> our white counterparts like how we want them to react in this time. Basically, it sounds like you're holding them to the same like level of our white counterparts by saying we just want you to post something we just want you to repost them 
Are you saying that? I'm I'm saying that's the bare minimum. So you are, for our black that's celebrities, the, the, the bare, bare minimum, minimum shouldn't be not posting at all. The bare minimum should be reposting anything mm-hmm. you see. And what's the bare minimum for white people? Same thing. So same our thing. so our black celebrities are at the same platform as white people. It's not that. It's just I, I mean, mean, if you, you want to put it that way, can. but it's just the fact that like they live. Didn't you say they live a different life? They, they're like, getting they, treated differently. They, yeah, yeah, I just different yeah, life than yeah. us. So like it's it's like they don't they're not in the streets they're not in the struggle with you know what i'm saying I think just, you can uh, you can ahead. still you don't have to be the face of a movement but you can still repost stuff. you can still talk yeah, about yeah, stuff. Responsibility. i don't think like me just being a regular ass black person i don't want dave Chappelle or whoever to be the face of the movement because he hasn't lived the same life that i have but he can still repost stuff he can still you know talk about stuff on his platforms because he has a wide audience mm-hmm. So, and she said something, sorry, Georgie, but mm-hmm. she said it's your responsibility. I think anybody in the public space who's collecting money mm-hmm. from us, getting attention, getting engagement from us, that's your responsibility. You have to yeah. say something. That's, and, I mean, that's, go ahead, Georgie. Yeah, I mean, because, like, to kind of, like, piggyback off of that, it's like, I don't know if y'all seen that, like, that post or there was, like, a sign that said, this is the cookout y'all are invited to or, like, right. something yeah. like that. So right. it's like, you know... If we see a white, like, before all this, like, if we saw a white person, like, you know, that was with black culture, and we're like, okay, you know, like, they with the shits right. on, like, our timeline and stuff, they're like, okay, they can come to the cookout. And then now that we're, like, in the in the midst of all this, like, we're really, like, in the weeds here, it's just like, yeah, y'all can, like, this is your time to, to shine. show like, up speak, to, Like, yeah. you know? And it's like, yeah, you don't have to be the front line, you know, just reposting something or, you know... Even if you don't repost something, like, donate a case of water to, like, people who are, mm-hmm. you know, protesting. Like, you don't always have to be front and center with it. Yeah. <clears throat> but, um, you know. Yeah, you're hard. literally an influencer. You have millions of followers. A lot of which are white. Like, you need to speak to them, but we mm-hmm. can't. I mean, we had definitely talked about that, I think, when doing, we was watching the MJ doc. Mm-hmm. And we kind of, like, when Michael Jordan, like, was faced with a, the scenario where he could have supported, uh, supported or spoken mayor, out yeah. and supported a Democratic person or a Republican person, he chose to. I think definitely in the black community, we definitely put pressure on the people that are, I guess, successful, you know what I'm saying, in the light of stuff. Mm-hmm. We put pressure on them to do stuff, and sometimes that's not really why they want. They just wanted money sometimes, or they just wanted, you know what I'm saying, but... <clears throat> It responsible. It does come. I feel like with a response. I agree with yeah. you. It does come with a responsibility, mm-hmm. but I can't make you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, do but that. once you show your true colors, I can't support you now. Same right. with these companies, Chick Fil A, Starbucks, whatever. Like I can't fuck with you now. Right. Like, mm-hmm. So right. I guess to kind of like go back. You know what I'm saying to the song. I don't think Cole really meant it like that. Maybe mm-hmm. like like we're having this conversation right now. Maybe it was all niggas in the studio. Like, cause he got people that you know what I'm yeah. saying. When you in the it studio, you in the mix of maybe was all dudes in the studio. Yeah, so yo, she be tripping. We, so we tone deaf <laughs> to the. I mean, cause we're tone deaf to the fact that so, that's what it sounded like. Did she respond? And did yeah, was she, it she, confirmed she, she, that it was her? And did she respond? He yeah, actually did. He actually doubled down. Like he tweeted the next morning. Like like basically like yo, good morning everybody. Like this I know what this is how y'all took it. I, I mean, if you if you took it like that, yeah. But like he doubled down on, on what he said because. I mean, if you listen to cold music, he definitely like a sincere person, and mm-hmm. I don't think he meant it like that. But I, we have, as men in the generation that we grown in, he grew up off '80s and '90s hip hop. It was just hella toxic, hella, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all the words, yeah. Yeah, rapey, all of that shit that you want, all, you all don't want to hear. Rapey. Yeah, all of that. It's <laughs> all of that in one. Yeah. So like. I definitely don't, I, it's probably some shit that he probably like toned up to that he don't realize that he, that he but I think he made a good point though overall with the song the, I think the overall theme of the song was just basically stop putting people down for not knowing something and just right. educate them cause he did say that he said uh, just because you woke and I'm not don't make you a better person than right me. and she, so, he, said, he, he, he said that what's the point of preaching to a, I mean uh, preaching to people who already believe in what you believe in right so right. I think the point of him was basically saying I get what you're doing I, I love what you're doing but you probably need to just Stop trying to bring people down who don't know or who, who haven't got that education that you got. He said probably grew up in the family, blah blah blah. I don't mm-hmm. know. That's a but, fair point. So mm-hmm. I mean, what do y'all think about that? Like, how, why do you, why do you think black people always feel the need to, if you're not hip to something, then you lesser than me? Like, and we do that with everything. We do it with everything. Yeah. Like, with everything. everything. That could be Literally. a new song. Oh, you don't know this, right, <laughs> nigga? You late, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. right. <laughs> you late, right? Right. <laughs> niggas <laughs> don't even ask what the song is in the car. They look up on their phone before they ask somebody. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Too prideful, right? Exactly. And I think he was, he did open up as a, as a basically like saying like, "Yo, I don't know this shit." Like, right? 
help me, nigga. Right, help me. But it didn't also, like, all, only thing they do is, like, nigga, you should know. Though. Yeah, nigga, you, you should know. Like, you. Look it up. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I don't know. It's I don't know why we, like, as a, as, as a people, as a whole, we do that with everything. Like, even, like, belittling things. Like, I said, I was, I said in the chat, like, we... How do we got to put something that was down to make something that was better like the whole light skin versus dark skin <coughs> women like light skin women oh oh i mean men will be like oh she pretty because she light skin or she pretty because she dark skin oh she's pretty because she's a woman you, you want to know what's crazy i'm about to say going back to your point where we bring because even like what was it friday or yesterday when juneteenth like people were like coming like bringing down people because it was like it was like oh this is when the slave this is when the slave like this is when the slaves were free it was like when it actually if y'all know the truth it's not it was just they were mad at people on Twitter, like, you dumbass, how you not know, what, why are you celebrating a holiday, but you don't know it? And people was like, don't attack them, tell them, like, educate yeah, that yeah, nigga, yeah. instead of, like, making him look like an asshole and a dumbass right. on and Twitter. And I think to one of my friends, because my friends didn't know what Juneteenth was, and mm -hmm. I was just like, yeah, it was, you know, because I think they got it mixed up. They're like, well, what is Independence Day? I'm like, well, Independence Day is when America as a whole was separated or got their total freedom from Britain. Right. Whereas Juneteenth, where... You know, it was supposed to be where all the f slaves were freed, and mm -hmm. you know, it it mm -hmm. made it illegal, mm, made it illegal supposedly so for you know people to own slaves. Right. So that's really what Juneteenth was, and like you know, instead of like saying, "Oh, you don't know what it is," I think I it's, it's I gotta not, correct I think you. Right, it's two different things. Okay. It's, it's, it's when it's when it's yeah, Juneteenth was yeah, the last day the that last the people free. in Texas, the slaves in Texas, found out they were free. That's when it was. Yeah, it was two years late. So that's when Damn. that's when the slaves. That's when the last of the slaves. Hey, you, were free. hey, you just imagine the you, you slaves. You just, you you just notify yeah. the slaves like y'all niggas wait. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Y'all niggas wait. He <laughs> wasn't picking cotton. <laughs> nigga, while the pan pan. What them niggas doing? What them niggas still doing there? Nigga, we've been free for two years. They love the white people. That's what I'm saying. And niggas been picking cotton. That's probably where that shit started at. Look at them. Look at them. Mass eleven niggas over there. Still picking cotton. Jesus. You don't have to. Nah. Not the slaves going on them for still being slaves. slaves right. Nah. That's what I'm saying. I can, I can see black people doing that though. I can see it. I can see them doing it though. Nah, that's funny as shit. Just I mean, imagine, funny. The, slave wasn't free. Yeah, just imagine like <laughs> another slave telling another slave you free, like, bro, bro, you know you free, you free now, right? Huh? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you, what do you mean I'm free? You doing this? You doing this voluntarily now, bro? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not, bro. You know, uh, you you no more? <laughs> if I leave, you're not gonna do nothing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you, was a, you was a damn lie. <laughs> damn, that's crazy. I ain't going nowhere. Fuck! I forgot, Georgie. Georgie had a good ass point. Oh, what were you saying? Damn, that's a good point. Wait, Actually, guys, about, I just want to say this is going way better than I thought. Wait, about like correcting your friends? <laughs> <laughs> huh? About correcting your friends, like. Yeah, damn, I had like a, um, yeah. You talking about you talking said about your friend was in the position and then where she, oh, and then I talked about fourth, the fourth. Okay, yeah, yeah. I would definitely say I was definitely trying to have a conversation with somebody and like, like your friend that just got killed. Like, Google, da -da -da. yeah, I'm yeah. Like, in fairness, no name could have just reached out to J Cole and said, "Hey, you should say something right now." But like, in fairness, she could have just done that instead of the tweet that she did. I mean, people be angry. I don't know. Like, right. I'd be angry too. So, I'm about to say, just, how do feel it about, just goes back to what like what like Nip said. We gotta re we, got, we gotta change how we react. To being disrespected or how we feel like we being disrespected, right? Because when somebody's saying you don't know some, it's you feel kind of disrespect. Like, fuck, what you mean? Blah, blah, blah. Right, but right, right. now we in a time where it's more about positivity and mm -hmm. really uplifting each other. So if somebody asks you a question, you can't be like, go Google this shit. If you know the fucking answer, just tell them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's all I be saying. saying. Oh that's God. all I be saying. That's anything. Like, it's just like, oh, that's the problem. With black, we always keep information. Keep information yeah, like it's just like you so ask fight. somebody like, oh, is it gonna rain tomorrow? And then like, if you already know, you seen the weather earlier, just say yes. Uh, I'm telling them like, look at the weather. Yeah, like, I feel like crazy. we do it with the yeah. most simplest. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. I think. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, am I asking the white person? Yo, what's the most? Oh, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like, gonna be. Uh, do you want me to keep going? Yeah. Somebody asked me, is Pentagon open? I'm like, yeah, Pentagon is open. But it's just like instead, I could have like, oh, go Google it. Like, right. I just think for black people, for black people, it's like. If I did the work, you now it's your turn to do the work. Like yep. if I can do it, you can yep. do the work, and you that's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. Instead of just giving the nigga the answer, nigga wouldn't be like, nah, do the equation, and, and I'll check you if you're wrong. I'm gonna yell at you if you're wrong too. Right. Yep. And so just for white people, they just take you to the front. Hey, yo, here's the book. Right, here, here's <laughs> here's, here's, all, here's everything you need. Damn. So <laughs> did everybody hear about the uh, the young lady that like she was an activist and she like died and yeah. how y'all how y'all feeling about that? 
What's what's her name? I know, unfortunately I don't. I don't know. I would murder her name. Let's just call her Toyin for now, Toyin. so we don't botch her name. Okay, but yeah. So what are y'all feelings on that? Towards that. That is that is tough. Like, cause it's just like I think I actually got the full story yesterday because they actually painted a mural. Boom. Full story. <laughs> right now. So okay. So um. So what I got was that basically she. She got raped and Yeah, I saw she tweeted about her sexual assault. Beforehand. Yeah, so rape, sexual assault, like you know, something happened to her and I think she went to officials, they said she was lying about it and didn't believe her, so then she started protesting about it and then she went missing mm-hmm. and then I didn't know she was homeless. She was well she oh, wasn't she wasn't was in she wasn't in I think her the best were. living conditions. That's yeah. how they stated it. She was, you know so she but was, Door door time. But I, she was also a strong person to be going through what she has gone through and then still be like on the, the front, front lines, line. being yeah. an activist. Right. So and that's because she fe- she's felt that. it. She's felt it. She's lived it. So of course she's gonna be out there. But so I mean, yeah, I just I don't know. It's just it's it's really sad because even like Twitter was like killing killing black men because they're saying black Nobody. women are the one on the, on the one fighting fighting for us and everything, and we're not ready to protect them. And then this happens to because even like if you think about it like the black lives matter movement it's really not includes black women it's more predicated yeah. to black men i think, it, I, think like, what, I think that's what the problem is because it's like Cause protect our sons lives, i mean when I, but when i think about black lives matter i think about definitely like all of you us you think about mm-hmm. black men and the police i don't and it's not i, just I, I, I don't I, me personally i don't i, I think that's what the misconception mm-hmm. is and then i feel like with any movement just like looking at the timeline, it felt like when any movement felt like we're gaining some traction. I felt like Black Lives Matter was definitely gaining some traction. And then it's just like, oh, wait a minute. Well, what about us though? And I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. I thought y'all was with it. I thought we was all, all included. One. Yeah, yeah, I thought we was all in this in one. And then it just got into a gender war. Of See, it, who has it, it worse? It changed. Yeah. The gender war came when black women were being. Attacked. The sexual assault stuff, definitely. The sexual assault okay. and being attacked. Like and that's why time. I said you can't. But, I can't tell people when it's time to fight their fight. But then also, I think it's because a lot of social media doesn't put out there the women who have been right. um, victims of not the black women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel the, like Me Too was very focused very on white, white. women. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein, mm-hmm. white woman. Right, like there right. was yeah. no focus on black women. I think that. Black but it stop, but it, but the Me Too movement was started by a black woman though. Exactly. Yeah, but, but no, but no one knows on her social name. media. What you saw was white women. Well, I saw the right. post about her, but yeah. I know. Like, I'm not thinking about black yeah. women. White Harvey Weinstein is white actresses. You're not thinking about. I think that was just the most predominant celebrity case of the Me Too movement. I don't nah, know. but I agree with them. I, that's why. That's why. That's why, that's why they're here. I only have black people. I only <laughs> have black women. I only have black women on my here. timeline. <laughs> I only saw black women. That's why they're here. They're right. The only two cases that I personally know myself. Of women was Sandra Bland and Breonna Taylor, like the, mm-hmm. like, and I'm sure to come to mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, as, yeah. as far as mm-hmm. police, yeah, yeah, brutality, as, as far yeah. As, uh, police brutality. But it's just like, why, like, where, who else, like, right. there's, yeah. there's got to be more out there, like, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, but you always hear about the black men or the right. young mm-hmm. young men who are getting, you know. Yeah, uh, cause I think honestly, I think black men this. have like police violence. I think is like to be honest, when we That's get pulled over, we, it's we, not the same. I don't know why you laughing about that, but like. It's not the same, I don't think. Like, for, I, I don't think it is there, either. But it's, yeah. but you guys, I, I feel like it's definitely because if you look at even like the prison population, black men make up like forty yeah. percent of the prison yeah. population. It's, it's I don't know the stats of the women, but even like that's something I sure should definitely look up to. Right. Right. I mean, you know, what I'm saying I should look should up, know, but it's know. yeah, but it's definitely. You know, what I'm saying I agree with you're saying, but I just feel like I don't understand how. I mean, I'm just looking at it like it the blinds, but I don't. I didn't see it as we leaving behind black women. I was like, yo, we. I just think I it was. Think, it's just they've always been disproportionately. It wasn't until this happened when people started posting "Black Women Lives Matter," blah blah blah. Like y'all weren't saying that last week. Or I just think it was because it like happened now y'all care. The the black men cases were just unfortunately the most like most known and most media. I guess the media yeah. thought it was the most media worthy because, yeah. like you said, like Breonna Taylor, we wouldn't we probably wouldn't know about it if it wasn't for Twitter. Yeah, the right. Sandra Bland one. Well, that's the only. Still that's the only case. Yet. That's the only case I'll say <laughs> that media, the social media, or the news outlets covered. Everything else, I just think like they just put black men and unfortunately they feel like I feel like the media put black men ahead of black women yeah. when it yeah. comes to like certain cases. If it's if it's not domestic violence and it's not between two black men or I mean two yeah, two the, black people. The only 
black women cases is shown is when it's a black woman, black man doing something to harm a black woman. Right, and, that's, and that's that's I, I think that's important. That's usually what I see because that's how media wants to portray us. Right, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They they want to portray the black man as the animal type shit, and then yeah, what is the an animal? Person. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's gonna be beating his wife. They want they want they don't ever show anything. Mm-hmm. The media is successful. You know what I'm saying? On black violence. Right, mm-hmm. right. I hate that argument against Black Lives yeah. Matter though. Like. <laughs> Like, it's like you guys each literally other. kill each other too. Yeah. Yeah. Like you guys kill yeah. each other too. White people yeah, kill white people. people. And more importantly, honest, when so. when there is black on black crime, that black person is still Justice. being there's Justice Justice getting the full book thrown at him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right mm-hmm. for sure. Because the media, uh, not the media, the court system always is like, okay, we're gonna make an example out of this person. Exactly. Like, you know, so it's just like, what about the white counterparts? Like. What about that example? Like they're getting slaps on the wrist, or they're getting right. probation. Like, that, like when I see like statistics of like white on black crime or black on white crime, and the black on white crime is like way through the roof. It's because mm-hmm. those white people, the the data is already misconstrued. First of all, mm-hmm. because the white people are not getting convicted for the shit that they're doing. They're getting away with it. Yeah. So of course they're not gonna be in a percentage of any type of thing because it's not even on the file. Like you said, they slapping on the wrist. Oh, go do some community service. Go do probation. Oh, quit your job. You're done. No. We're get, if we do some shit and they do some shit, we're going to get the full extent of the their law, pretty mm-hmm. much. Like, we're going to get maximum sentences thrown at us. So, it, it it's just, it's, it's all I guess biased I, against us. Definitely much. ask a question. Um, everybody pretty much works, if not, I think everybody works in, pretty much in an office environment or corporate setting. Um, mm-hmm. Has as I guess those I guess tough conversations have been taking place have emails been y'all been getting oh, bombarded yeah, with sure. emails oh, yeah, how definitely. do y'all feel about the emails and stuff coming out as far as everything is going so, on so my my boss the man who I report to has not said shit to me since this whole thing has been going on at this point we're on like day 21 22 and he has not said one thing to me and he's white and he's a gay man and it's like I don't really it's like I don't need you to say anything to me because like I already I've been on what has been going on in this country for a long time so it's not like you could say anything profound to me it's just like a respect thing but my job has been sending a lot of emails they've been doing they've um they ask people to participate in a bunch of these like educational series like I, I I'm now in a book club about reading some book like so you want to talk about race but it's just annoying because in every one of the emails they say POC and they refuse to say black. Like none of the emails talked about like black. It was just oh POC, the POC experience, and that kind of that just bothered me. It kind of <laughs> takes away from your like like, like from your identity. Yeah, yeah like yeah. okay. I'm not okay. a person of color. I don't identify. I yeah. I'm, I I don't think I'm a person of color. Person I'm of color could be any like, fucking body. Yeah, I, no. Asian. Like, you know. Yeah. But I mean, as far as my job goes. I mean, I work for Democrats, so they're just like, yeah, we're not, we're not fucking with this. Like, this is just, this has just got to stop. So, <laughs> they, I mean, they already put out statements. I mean, um, I've had, like, my director, um, even, like, my, my manager yesterday was just like, or I think on Thursday, she was like, oh, if you can take off tomorrow, like, definitely take off, like, you know. Um, and even when, like, the... The protest in Minneapolis started and stuff. They wanted to make sure that we had like mental health days, and they're like, um, and then when the the protest in D.C. started, they're like, if you want to go protest, go protest. Like you're still getting paid for it. Like hmm. you know, so there's they're very much like active. Yeah, yeah, they're active, and um, and even like our COO was just like, look, he was like, these are our brothers and sisters that are getting killed, and and you know, he's obviously talking about the African American um, women and uh, men that are out here like you know getting slain by the police. Hmm. So they're very much in tune. So yeah. I can say like one thing my job has done, they've definitely been um, very vocal uh, and they haven't like tried to group us in like this like POC kind yeah. of thing. They said black, African-American, yeah. they're like very, and you know, even I've had like my, like my director, she's a white girl, like she was just saying, I've never experienced it. She's always been handed stuff. And so she's like, I can't say I agree with you guys or not agree, but like, I feel you guys. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Like, I feel you. So it's just like, she said that. She's like, I can't. But it's just like, you know, they always made themselves available. Like, if you want to talk, I'm here. Like, I, they made themselves very aware that they know what is going on. Yeah. So it's just, yeah. they're here and they they want to, well, you know, hear your thoughts. I'll tell you that I think the protest, protest started, I think, I don't remember which week it started. but like Three weeks. Three mm-hmm. weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So the first week it happened... Like when it really first kicked off, like nothing. I I didn't hear anything. Didn't hear anything. 
So I was like, all right, I'll just I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait a week and see, you know, what happens. So like maybe like the fourth day, the fifth day of protest, I started seeing companies sending out statements and shit like, oh, da, 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 we stand with black community, blah, blah, blah. So I wait till Monday come, still didn't see nothing. So Tuesday come, Tuesday morning I come, I reached out to my boss and was like, cause my boss is a black woman and she's like, it's the best boss I've ever had pretty much. So, um, so she's basically, I basically like, I'm like, I'm gonna take a mental health day cause it's a lot, it's a lot going on. And I don't really, you know, it's kind of affecting me a little bit and then and I was like, should I feel? I asked her, should I feel some kind of way that our, you know, our COO or CFO hasn't put out a statement of any type of way of anything? So she was like, definitely take the mental health day. And she's like, you're right, they haven't said anything. I'll reach out to them and see what's going on. So then she she came back and said that they would already plan to put out a statement the next day, mm -hmm. All right. which they did the next day. It was it was a it was a PR statement, right, right, right. so it speaks. It wasn't like a. I didn't feel like it directly was talking to me. It right. was like a generalization. Did it say black yeah. or did they say POC? I can't remember exactly. It just was. It, I didn't like it. Yeah. I didn't like it. And then I, even like, yeah. like when the like leadership and like in the government put out statements, it was, it was tough because basically what their their justification was, which is all, it's it's just all fucked up all the way around. They, their justification was that if they stand with a certain group, it'll affect them getting contracts in the future. Mm. That's so. It's like don't need to touch on it anymore. No huh? Yeah, I get what yeah. Yeah. So How about I, you, I I could be upset but at the end of the day. How about you, Tom? Your job reach out? Um I mean, you get any like emails? Mike. Um, I could say myself. Um I'll do it for you guys. Um nah. I mean we had a meeting yesterday. We just basically since I work for the since I work for the defense health system, they're more worried about their number one goal is I guess COVID, so and making sure all the armies, all the departments of the DOD is good. So, I mean, I don't really expect them. I don't really expect just because it's, I work so closely with the government and I know that they came and say certain things. So I'm not really, even my con, even my boss, who's a black man, he was just like, I think that's, he was just like, say, I think that's fucked up. That it's, it's, we're saying that they can't say certain things when, when right is right and wrong is wrong. But this is so right. It wrong. doesn't make sense. So like, you know what I'm saying? Why, why I was, no, I why get what you're saying. Why was you know standing saying? with black people I get what you're saying. any business that you have to do? And, no, I just think that doesn't make sense. I just know. I just not even not even for. I just like the government wide, like for like even feds, like they can't they can't speak out on anything. Like they can't speak out even they want. If they fuck with Trump, they can't speak on Black Lives Matter. There's just certain things that they can't say. Right. And like even like people that are in the active military, they can't protest in their they can't protest in their gear. They can't protest they during can't the protest during the sure. time of operations yeah. where they work. Mm -hmm. So I get like I understand that. But for my contractor wise, I mean like I said, he's a black man. We had a meeting Friday and he just basically said like, Yeah, don't wear don't wear Black Lives Matter stuff or any p political propaganda, no matter if it's Black Lives Matter, KKK, con Confederate flags, just cause like he said, he's like that will put it that'll put I guess a stick in the sand staying where you stand unfortunately he's like we're not here we're here to we're not here to make statements we're here Sorry, to do our job customer. we're here to do our make yeah. do our uh so i'm like as a, as a business point i can understand it because like really contractors aren't at a point like aren't at a position of power at all when it nope. comes to government so at any time like all right well thank you for, I, we agree with you but we gotta let you go next company's up so mm. i i can i i understand it from a business standpoint but i mean me per me personally, I honestly wouldn't care if they put out a statement. I just I wouldn't care. <laughs> I didn't care until it didn't come out. I don't. I don't. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I care. never looked at it like that. Where it's like, okay, you can't. All right, wear Georgie. It. Janelle wants to talk. You can't <laughs> just leave. <laughs> then come back. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I was going to say I feel like my biggest thing is everyone at work has been real nice, like little mess. Like, oh, do you need anything? Sorry, everything is going on with you this week. And like, I had a whole thirty-minute meeting with my manager. They said they will pay your bail if anyone gets it. They've been really oh. nice. Oh, yeah, they, they they went that far. They like kind of thing. But I feel like my biggest thing is like. You weren't saying you never acknowledged even me being black prior to this week mm -hmm. or last week. You never in the whole time I've been working have you ever mentioned minus the average microaggression here and that you've never said anything before about me being black. So it's just like I think that's my biggest thing. I think it's, it's just trendy. like it's, I think it's that's, trendy. that's very performative. It's, that that it's, trendy. it's performative, a way bigger yeah. issue of just all these corporations, period, all these celebrities, period, who never gave a fuck about Black Lives Matter or Indigenous people or anybody. 
and then now all of a sudden all these corporations want to talk about oh black lives matter but the nfl want to talk about black lives matter and everyone wants to talk about black lives matter when black lives have always matter mattered. last month you know? y'all didn't say shit last month oh, damn, <laughs> y'all spill that shit <laughs> y'all spill that conscious first, ignorance wine first and last <laughs> <laughs> Why was, it was like perfect like you could have like lifted it up asked me that's to not hold coming it. out either <laughs> you gotta block that shit hey send her an invoice and just get my four if that, I'm about to say if that was Georgie you ain't getting that shit back <laughs> Georgie good for holding money <laughs> anyways let's change yeah. gears and talk about um so in our home city in the DC uh, that's not my home city. Are we changing against like completely? No, like, let's it's a talk different about topic. Oh, okay. That's not my home city. I'm not from DC. Well, I'm, I'm from DC. From in your hometown, where you're area, going to raise, where we go to party. Yeah, where we go to party. I've been. I've been. But we talked about that. We got to talk about that again. No, we talked about. He talked. I know what you. Go ahead. Go Damn, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know where you're going with this. Anyways, that's why I said his hometown. Um, maybe like a week ago, a video was surfaced around. Where a black woman was thrown into a trash can by a group of black men. See why you should shut up. No. Nope. <laughs> Go ahead. I didn't know what happened there. Video. I mean, oh, you, you didn't. I mean, I the, the video, video said no. I, I was like, ah, damn, fuck. That's and us. You could just hear like the way that they were speaking. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I said, love how you hijacked this whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, like, I love, I love that. I love that. But you see how Georgie was so adamant. And you could just hear the way they talk because she know DC niggas. She didn't know them laws. Oh my god. Jay, go on. George, get off the box, please. <laughs> get off the I, don't box. This, I don't want this to happen to you. Stay off the box, George. Because <laughs> then we have to roll up and it's just bad. A group of young black men, I guess, you know, around their neighborhood like, way, um, were approached by, I guess, which is which is somebody who's uh, who's been in the neighborhood. We don't know the full backstory on who she is or what she does or any kind of person is, but that doesn't matter. That should never, it shouldn't matter. It never matters. Basically, the, the group of uh, black men picked her up harassing her a little bit and it ended up a little bit a lot of bit a lot of bit hey you're right hey you're right you're right black women are here we yeah y'all need to check this why y'all here yeah y'all need to check me anyways (laughs) (laughs) they picked her up and pretty much threw her in a damn trash can and recorded the whole thing light shining on her she's in the trash can and look like she's about to break down crying have have some more sincerity in your voice you you look like just rushing through the story I think I mixed up the fact that I was this much. I mean, how much do you want me to give? Who saw the video? Which What woman saw the video? That's a nigga's right now. I get whatever you I'm pretty sure Kelsey had seen the video. Who saw the video? You saw the video? I didn't see. I I don't watch that stuff anymore. Okay, I thought he was talking about the one where the guy hit her with the skateboard. No. That's another one. But we, this is all on topic. So, as black men, do we feel like we're doing enough? Okay, I'll ask the women first. Do you feel like black women, I mean, black men are doing enough to protect you guys and making you guys feel secure and comfortable in situations? I think you should talk about it. That question, because, I mean, nah, yeah, yeah go ahead. I'm wait, wait, well, I, I guess, that shit automatically. I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> but answer that question, but black men that you don't know. Like yeah. black men, yeah, because yeah. our friends will definitely. That's what I, like, you know, yeah. y'all are always there. Friends, right. I mean, we're know? all one people, so yeah. people that you I don't, don't know. Mm, no, because I. Feel, but go ahead, go ahead, talk, go ahead. We'll we'll talk after y'all. So, how do y'all feel about black men that you don't know about protecting y'all? I mean, honestly, I feel like since I don't know them, I don't expect them to like. You don't. Expect I don't, them. I don't expect that them to like. Thing that I feel like you know, we should have. Like, so say if. You know, yes. So, like yesterday, I was, you know, down in the protest and stuff. And if I was getting disrespected, and like a black man saw, like I feel like he would just keep walking and like mind his business. Mm. I don't think he would stop and look and be like, oh, you know, that's a black woman and she's getting disrespected. And he would stop and step in. You know. I I, I have a question. Do you feel like Do you feel that way because he? You think that because this is what niggas do. They will be like, niggas be like. I wonder what she did to make him that mad or <laughs> what did she she must have done something she must have done something to make him that mad <laughs> so, I mean, I <laughs> no look i'm gonna tell a story bro look so no what, okay go ahead go i was ahead. about to i'll look about being an innocent bystander mm-hmm. I was I like every man's story. Like is this. everybody every man? I think and they learn and then we don't do it anymore Fact. so what happens i was i seen you know 
you know, a young couple arguing. I'm like, all right, y'all should just chill out, bro. You know, chill out. You like it's about to get. It looks like it's gonna go to the next level. Right. You know, women argue. Women fight with their words. Men fight with their hands. With them jabs too. Right. Y'all good at that. Right. So that's why you can't up. fuck like. So, uh, let, let, let's take you through the story. Let's take you this story. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, y'all should just chill out. And then like, as I'm trying to chill, it, calm the situation down. She starts attacking me like, mind your fucking business. This don't have nothing to do with you. I'm like. Okay, my bad. I just wanted to see if everything was good. She started going at me. I'm like, I never came doing this again. He probably like, I, right, never exactly. doing this I came over here specifically for you. <laughs> like, I was prepared to whoop his ass. I don't even know you for you, and you took it left. So it's like you was about to get jumped I by them. Yeah, exactly. Right. I could have really <laughs> took it. <an> L. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, at what point? And how do we? How do we ever actually know? Especially when it comes to domestic relationships. See, I'm down that story yeah. because we was in a carryout, and I think it was my birthday, mm. and we was in a carryout at Danny's. Oh, I you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Bull was in a carryout getting an argument with like two girls. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he had, that's when he said the bitch where I was like, "Hey, yo, bro, come on, that's you know." What I'm saying? And I'm just like, "Hey, so I'm like, yo, bro, come on, like that's two women right there." Like, right. Has some, he's like, "Oh, I get the dog." But y'all was like, you know what I'm saying, in the cut for real, dude. Right. When he heard that, all, of course, all them niggas stood up. But it's like, damn, this nigga about to shoot me. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to, like, yeah. I said, shit, that's is, it for me. Is, is that what it is? Hey, that what it is? I got to die for now my mom has to bear her son. Because I thought is. about this. Hey, no one said it would be hard being a hero. So... Listen, there's yeah, gonna be there's gonna be some obstacles. There's gonna be some obstacles. I feel like the thing is y'all keep talking about a situation where a guy and a girlfriend is fighting. That's not the only time. But we don't know it. Girl, we, but, like two, but, and, two and, and we wouldn't know that. We wouldn't I know think that. My thing, okay, you can't check a stranger. I'm talking about checking your friends. I feel like that's where it's that's where it comes. That's what I'm bringing it around to. Of course, I'm not gonna. Okay, that's not none of my business. But y'all don't say he called not Hugh, but y'all call niggas bitches. Y'all don't say anything when each other call girls bitches. So let's talk about. That y'all call us niggas all day, every day. I mean, isn't that the, isn't that the masculine? Too, like, isn't that the equivalent to and me? Yeah, isn't that the masculine and feminine version hey, of the same? Nigga is the equivalent to me. Hey, if, a, if a black in the general too with men, I'm and niggas too. Period. Like, I don't. If even a know black woman calls me a nigga, I fight. She's calling me a bitch. Yeah, and I feel like I I'm like, damn, bro, what's good know. with you, my nigga? Y'all call each other well, bitches no, all day, and we call each other niggas all day. That word is just for black people only. Bitches is if it's only for bitch. I mean, women. Like okay, not just the use of store? the word. Bitches. I think I think not, that was a bad example. Word, that was I, bad think that, example I think the bitches were just talking about bitches, yo, bitches, this, bitches, that, just being disrespectful. This bitches, this, this bitches, ugly, blah, blah. Like that type of disrespectful talk that y'all have on the regular. That's talk, what I'm talking. You heard us talking about this on the regular. On this podcast, on this podcast. Chanel, are you trying to get us canceled? What the fuck are you here for? Fuck. Damn. That's what I want to talk about. God damn. I thought she wasn't going to talk about like that. Like that I way. No, about, okay, we can't sound as the best. I want to talk oh, about yeah. it. <laughs> it's the problem. I want to talk about hypocrisy. I'm talking about it. I'm trying yeah. to sound as the best. All right, calm down, no. Kel. Go ahead, talk to me. I want to talk about <laughs> hypocrisy because that's the thing that angers me the most. First of all, whole don't be using words like hypocrisy. Okay, not hypocrisy, but I'm telling you. No, people have to keep it. All right, Kel, put your cup down. Kel, put your cup down. You rambling, bro. Change of heart. I get it. But now is the time when people are changing. They're trying to like be more conscious. I just have a problem with the hypocrisy, and I think even with the thing with Nana and Jake, not sorry, Nana, no name and Jake Cole, I think that's the thing. It's like the hypocrisy, and just like y'all care all of a sudden. Even with white people, y'all care all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. like, that's my biggest thing. I I've never not that. even before. I think it was how it was like, yo, good morning to black women and black women only. Like I've definitely always like cared about teeth. exactly you've definitely you seen, seen that that like you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> but like do you feel appreciated do you feel like you're getting appreciated for those tweets he should not get appreciated for that nah, i mean no nah, i don't yo. care about that should, but like he should that that's also, always a normal yeah, i'm also right. sweet, that's that's the vibe. it should be the it should that's like the same thing how you treat women on a daily basis yeah but y'all both can't talk with respect that's we it. know Janelle okay. feels strongly about I this topic. Something. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I do. But George, you was trying to get in, so go ahead. I came here to came with y'all next. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what we're doing. I'm okay with it. As long as, as, long as when you you prepare for me to come at your neck. See, that's the thing. Why do you need to come at her? She's no, no, I, I never said on that topic though. <laughs> She's educating you, bro. I never said on this topic. I never said on this topic, Jeff. I just have honest come questions. Come at me. Like, how no. Are, no, honest question. How y'all dealing with the Damn, way no you've spoken up women in the past, and then right now, y'all? Are we talking about like, like just the word bitches? If we've been honest, no, it's just all around just disrespecting women. 
with the word bitches. That's the only time no, I just respect women. No, no, no. That's, do, I, I don't, do you think you treat women in a way that's respectful? Yes. Yes. I, I've told y'all this all the time. Yes. <laughs> Like, I mean, maybe not your respect standards, but yeah, fine. maybe not from your point of view. <laughs> maybe. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, like, what's? What, what, I can't remember what I. What Wait, can you? All right, I got cool. You know what? Y'all, y'all give examples. Y'all don't have to say names of that person who did her. You can't. Be, you don't have to say Jeff or Kel. Right, or me. Yeah. Yeah. So it Joe, be, just say. We're talking about like not letting an ugly girl in a section. Like, I that's, think you that, guys. That's club etiquette. That's not right. You guys club etiquette. We already had that conversation. Exactly. Georgie know not to let the ugly girl in a section. Intentionally do things to hurt. Black woman, like what? oh no, I haven't. Like, like what? Just the way that you treat them in like a dating scenario, whether it's just like I don't know, I just like you I need a specific example. Well, I, I, I double down on her. On her. You don't I, think that's true? Honestly? I don't like the fact that yeah, as a man, I don't like the fact that black men get aggressive when they're getting turned down by a woman. I think all people and on the on the other side of that, I don't like that black women don't respectfully tell a nigga no, you need to chill or. Try to defuse, not defuse the situation, because you shouldn't have to defuse the situation in the first place. But sounds like you're walking. Because, away. Sounds nah, like you're walking. Yeah. Action. Because, uh, action. <laughs> action. Oh, yeah. Anyways, because the first thing I'm gonna say is that <laughs> definitely like they're scared to say reject the nigga because they don't know what's gonna happen when. Because like the most basic level, it, which I think does get escalated, which we probably all have done when we were younger, like. You know what I'm saying? When you try to holler at the show, they ain't trying to fuck with you. Well, fuck you, bitch. Like, that fuck you, like bitch. Can like I've, get... I've never did that. I have never did that. Like, clearly clearly <laughs> Nah, I really haven't, but I was just trying to generalize okay. the yeah, males. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, well then, okay. Well, don't do that, to... though. I'm not I'm not like that. I, 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 I never understand. understand. But I, I've definitely seen somebody, I will say this, I definitely have seen somebody do it and not correct them. Mm-hmm. I could agree so, with that. So, I've definitely seen my friends, like, some people that I grew up with do it, and I'd be like, just laugh, even. But I've definitely laughed. On that same tip, if if a, a black man is trying to talk to a black woman and she don't want to give him no play, not for all of them, because I know some 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 women do actually say hi and all that stuff. But y'all will be rude as fuck. Oh, I'm good. No, fuck you want like get out my face. Yeah, like, they'll call you a broke ass nigga right, for like, no reason. Like, like, you know I mean? okay, I mean, like it's no it's no respect. I don't think you understand that side. forty niggas did that before you today. Yeah. Like, I, that's I don't what think I have to learn. But we don't we don't know. Exactly. We, you can't hit blame us for something pestered, we don't know. We need right one nigga who would treat you right. Yeah, and but you, you being pestered left and right, it's like yo, leave me alone. Like it's not even disrespect. It's like I'm tired of being harassed by niggas so, every day. So every so time now so now you're challenging wow. you're challenging I mean, your energy from someone else on to me now. Now no, I have but to look, look, this is why they're here, guys. You all are doing this. You just said you did five minutes ago. You're all annoying. Hear me out. So why don't you just say like I've had enough? No, but look, you're annoying at this point. Sometimes y'all even. Like guys, 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 stop, 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 yeah, okay, stop, okay, stop, okay, okay. stop. You better take me. Stop. Because Moderate. we're doing exact. I think I've definitely talked with Fola, especially about this situation. I definitely, and now that they say it and talk about it to other people, I definitely have some time to think about it. Like, just as you go out, go at somebody or hit somebody, you can't tell somebody how to react. So when you go up mm-hmm. to a woman, we can't tell her how to react the right way or the wrong way. And I definitely thought about it. Hmm. If 40, and most of the time we going out there bad bitch. I mean, woman. Sorry. <laughs> going out there bad bitch. Right, she's bad. She can be bad bitch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bad bitch is cool. Bad bitch, bad bitch. That's, 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 that's respect. That's, that's all one word. That's respect. That's okay. Okay. The Look, so if you're going out there back, nine times out of ten, she's a bit, she's then been approached, like they said, a few times. Mm-hmm. So I definitely could, like, understand, like, yo, we've never been women. We don't, if you're just saying that one night, ten niggas try to talk to her, imagine trying to wake up. As a woman and go outside, just go to the grocery store. Probably three niggas in a grocery store. That shit can get annoying. Facts. So I could definitely see. You know what I'm saying? So I could definitely see why. Like, so as a woman, what would you want the twelfth nigga who tried to talk to you to say to not disrespect you? you Don't don't and not like. I mean, like, because as a man, we don't know that. We just see a beautiful woman. We don't know she's been talked to by a hundred niggas that day. That's a fair point. So we coming, we coming to you with a, a clean plate. You already stacked the, the odds up against me with these a hundred niggas who you de- right. you denied well, already. That makes sense though, huh? No, right. yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Just trying to, so I feel like this, as a, that's as, a, right? as a man, what do you want me to say? Because I mean, like you could you could find me attractive just as much as I find you attractive. But if you don't, if you're not in the mood, you're not gonna talk. Right. To me. I'm about to say like, what if? Tomorrow, like you would have gave him play, but it just happened to be today's the day that you felt to, to go script. off. Like, what do you want to? Yeah, do like you need to be more nicer. Should you be like, come meet me here tomorrow and try tomorrow, and then if, <laughs> if I'm happy tomorrow? Honestly, I just feel like the overall thing is the girl just wasn't attracted to you. That's all it comes yeah. down to. Honestly, if I was interested and I thought so, she's disrespecting you. Would change. I'm just not interested. That's so she's disrespecting you. So she's disrespecting because she's not attracted to you. Need to read the room. I think most likely because it was cute. I'll be like, wait. So is that so is that fair to us? Is that fair to us that you disrespecting us? Doesn't matter about. 
it depends on like what y'all what y'all say is disrespect. Cause sometimes I've been called disrespectful just for saying, "Oh no, I'm not interested." Oh fuck you, bitch. You're ugly anyway, bitch. Like all this stuff. I told you to be a told you to be meaner. Kelsey, I remember that. We talked about you being meaner. You told me wasn't interested. A nigga called you a half. I ain't gonna hold you. I would have laughed. Damn, but my blood. Damn. I was like, damn, you got chill, but damn, cuz you <laughs> disrespect you like that. Hey, yeah. fuck you, nigga. Wait. Like, can women get disrespected too? Nah. Oh, oh shit. I don't. I, 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 I never understand why. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna use that shit in the group chat. Kelsey said yeah. something. Hey yo, you half free, <laughs> oh. big bird. Eh? Oh my god, that's not why we're here. Sure, stop. I don't, I don't understand why niggas <laughs> even take that approach. It just, it doesn't make sense to me. Unless the woman comes off as disrespectful when you try to talk to her. I just think just don't take it personally. See, unfortunately, so I, mean, I, I think, think we really that. gotta learn to start. It's like we talk a lot of shit to the game. Talk, I mean, I've charged it. Chalk it, chalk it. She was interested. That's all. Yeah, mm-hmm. charge it to the game, bro. She just wasn't. If she not interested, that means she's she not the, interested. Yeah, you can't fuck. Just leave it alone. Yeah, if you're the 41st nigga, but you were cute, you're getting a whole different reaction. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know. Oh, so y'all are, talk, y'all are the 900 niggas and still talk to the 101st nigga? If, if he's you're cute, that's what she said. Yep, yep. That's all it comes down to. She said, yep. Yep. Choose. And that's the thing. You got to be attractive. You just got to know. Choose. We're choosing. So, what are some of the tell signs? Because. We don't. I mean, no as men, we don't know until we know. And y'all like the y'all like the like we talked about it before. Y'all don't make anything blatantly clear. Everything is we gotta read signs. Oh, she might better eyes. How the fuck I'm supposed to know? Tell and she like the, that that would that, that you interested or in a club setting or like texting or like dating. I mean, I can read the room. I can tell when it's you know the energy's bad and good. But I'm just saying, just for to put it out there, what do you like? What is something that you clearly do or clearly? I don't know. Damn, stop feeding these women drinks. They're good at drinking. They want to drink, nigga. Damn. I'm trying to be a good friend. Nah. I know that. She didn't say she wanted to drink. Keep thinking the section. You You trying to make this real nasty (laughs) and real perverse. I didn't think it nasty. You did. Because you do the same to me. You do the same to me. Nah, but when you say woman. Oh, okay. 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 All right. All right. Well, okay. Oh, my question was just like, what are some of the things that men should look for? To tell if you're not interested, if you are interested. Off like, do bat, y'all talk? Do y'all talk to them? Do y'all talk to men that you're not interested in? Off the bat, or just... I personally don't, Georgie. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, why she coming to your neck? Like, you, you maybe like throw me Instagram. Uh yeah, just hit me on IG, something like that. If I'm slowly like responding that. and not really responding, it's. No, I'm talking about in the in the, the in person. All right, bro, we might have to change the topic because they're not getting they're not getting they're not giving me what I want. So we can go ahead and do intern. Yeah, we can go ahead and. I'm trying to get it get it so all niggas know. Let's go ahead, wrap this episode up, and get part two popping because. All right, if you can see, or if you can't see, we definitely took a break. Definitely took a little better shots. We're going around. Brews were drunken. Not proud of it, drunken, but it happened. Drunken. Drunken. Um, okay. To lighten the mood, drunken. we had to... Okay. Drunken love. I can see drunken. We be all, all night. night. Drunken, drunken isn't a word? I don't think... You know, I, I think you think... Drinking. Drink. Um, yeah, no. drink. I've been drinking. I think I drank. I've been drinking. We drank drinks. <laughs> we drank drinks. <laughs> 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 All right, you so can say drinks have been drunken. Drinks were drank. 
drink we drink drinks. <laughs> All right. Is this the content we want? Wait, 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 wait. This is what we're saying. Regardless, we regardless of what we're saying, regardless of what we're saying. We oh my gosh, the story. Um we still have Tom here. JC, I'm sorry. We still have Georgie here. Me, myself, Kel Boogie, Big Bird, Janelle. Janelle. Oh, we have Janelle. Finesse right here. No, actually, yeah. we have Georgia Peach. We have <laughs> Janelle the Stallion. <laughs> and we got Don't. We don't have a nickname yeah. for you. Big Bird. We got no, Kelsey Lightbright. Look, thank you. Ah. That's a no, I don't like that. I don't like that. That's a colorist nickname. That's a colorist nickname. Big Bird Brandon. <laughs> what is slurs? <laughs> we could slur. Kel that rings the bells. Kelsey, Kelsey, let's go next. Kelsey, B. I don't know. We're, we're trying. You, you forced the, you, you put us, right. you put us back against the wall. <laughs> Regardless, we're trying to switch. You know, I'm saying the speeds. We definitely been having like serious podcasts back to back, but we need a little bit of ignorance. Um, we're gonna get right to it. I'm gonna ask the first person who I think of question. And how many niggas do you have, Kelsey? <laughs> <laughs> and where are they from? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Okay, okay. Let's, let's talk about this. Like, I guess, do you have a type? And then, what's your type? Damn. Damn. I feel like I don't really. Okay. She looked they, at the they, camera. You said what? Nothing. Because no, I have to look at my audience. No, okay. face oh, face. oh, your audience. Oh, your oh, audience. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Those of you that want to start a podcast. <laughs> like, a, like a physical type or like. Oh, a, oh, oh type Janelle, Janelle, Janelle. This is not your time. Okay, this okay, is not okay, your okay, time, Janelle. Where are you going? Like, physical attributes yeah. only. I mean, I don't know. Like, Describe your describe a nigga you would be attracted to. We trying to get you some okay. niggas in your DMs. You're not. Shut up. Unless you have somebody. All right. 53% of As my of audience late, is They already know. Mm-mm. I like, you know, cute with a little bit of ugly. What is cute? Oh, cute. You know, cute medium, medium ugly. ugly. Cute medium with like crunchy. an ounce of ugly. Medium crunchy? What the fuck does that mean? Not, you, 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 can't you can't be prettier like, than me. Medium crunchy. You can't oh. be prettier than me or my friends. You have to be, you know. Okay. Average. Average looking tall. What, what's average? Like one to ten. You said average looking know. tall. Why you hate short people? Because average is five, and that's I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's I'm, trash. I mean, I'm taller than me. I'm five six. I, you know, if I wear heels, You're I'm five six. Like five, six. Okay, we know we're gonna. I'm not I don't Kelsey. Even, I don't Kelsey. Even Kelsey. Yeah, we're gonna put a pin in you. <laughs> you know? right, we're gonna table with Kelsey. No, 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 no. We like to see. She said, no, no, no. I'm trying to find my man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to find me. Medium, <laughs> ugly, and tall. Medium, ugly, and tall. Then he could be broke. Well, obviously, okay, you said physical attributes. No, we didn't. I said a nigga okay, that you're Okay, well, obviously, to. I like, you know, someone who has a college education. Dark that skin, light kid. skin. That doesn't matter. Can you have kids? Lies. No kids. kids. No kids. Why is that always the thing with women? No kids, Can't have no kids. no kids. What kind of car? Which, but women what kind of car? Kids. No, but I don't have kids, I so I don't want I'm somebody I'm with pre- kids. You don't have to have yeah, a yeah. European car. Right. I'm not pressed on cars because the car is only like five minutes of a conversation. Okay, cool. You have a nice car and okay, whatever. But what if it's a hoopty? Well, then you probably don't have a. Let's talk don't about standards. Let's talk about standards here. What's your standards? Let's get into I it. I like someone with a nice job. A good. Uh, we have to have the same. Nice educate. job. Janelle speak. So, <laughs> all right, Janelle. What type of nigga do you? I mean, what type of king do you like? I'm gonna be corny. You know. <laughs> well, we, we already know that. I just look for a good guy. I'm looking for a good person, a good personality, and that's it. Everything that Janelle Like a said. six and up. What is this? Um, e-harmony? Is this your he's e-harmony? He's down to six if he's really Wait, wait, like, like a Christian mingle. Is this black really nice. Like, you like long walks on the beach, too? I mean, I just, uh, you don't want a good person when you're dating someone. I mean, I mean but that's you not said what I, I'm not going. Of course I'm going to want a good as person. Low it's as implied. A Did you hear it? She said a six. As six. low as that. Six is the looks, right? <laughs> you got to be a really good look, like a good guy to be a six. Mm. Let's get to the most toxic person, to Georgie Peach. Wow. Yeah. All right. That that is our that is all that, that is food. <laughs> that, that is our food. Say about a bell. No, no, we ain't saying about shit. You that's say a, she says six or up. That's not our food. That's not your food. Like, okay, on a scale of one to ten. She six. said, "Look, six. I'm like, I mean, you know, yeah. Janelle, she Janelle's said, a good person. Kelsey said yeah, average. She said dude, six. Bro. This is getting out of. This is getting ridiculous. But go ahead. Um, one to ten. What does he look like? You somebody got to be the bad bitch of the group and right. <laughs> and say ten. Georgie, we and know say they want a real or, or like an eight. And say they want a baller because I don't we, know why we not saying these things that they know they want. I mean, <laughs> we know Georgie. Okay. That's why I went and, to Georgie. An eight. 
Eight? Just because I said eight. Right. No. Right. I was already thinking eight, but I'm just like, you know, an eight, you gotta like. But the eights and us be trash, though. Like, I feel like the better looking they are, the but more But even toxic. ugly niggas. Why do we're not trash? I thought we concluded that. I thought we concluded that kind of in the first thing. If we did, yeah. we are trash. Men are trash as a man. And the better looking, the more of an ego, the more arrogance. Mm-hmm. Um, not trying to come at y'all. If you're a C plus and look, C plus still a passing grade. What? <laughs> I would not marry say? a C plus. You got me fucked I can't, up. I would not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a six. I'm not marrying no goddamn six. So y'all, listen, so like, I can hold you. You can keep I, bought, I bought a C. A well, seven, she was like a, a she was like a D plus five. to Jeff. I bought a D plus to Jeff's uh that's Jeff's like party Who was uh, at Lax. Oh, oh yeah. Yo, I'm right. not bringing no D's or no C's said, around my niggas. Sex, sex. <laughs> but hey, that's different for y'all. There are a bunch of pretty girls in this area. That's a good like topic, dude. Because. We'll bring like girls, je- well, depending on what, we'll bring like girls around the friends, like mm-hmm. agree that we're not serious with, yeah, just to bring them out. You know what I'm saying? Show them a good time, right? So if y'all bring guys around your friends, does that mean you're serious with them? That's a great question. Yeah, I, think um, I just want you to buy me drinks when I'm out. I'm saying, but well, how you? Wait, well, no. I'm talking about like we brought like girls around, even like the homegirls. Like when we go to a club, yeah. when we go to a club, we y'all be out with us too. So like y'all could be, y'all can be. Potential girls that we bring out. out so do y'all bring out like, niggas? Y'all out to like to to, like, to, to they gotta get section. No, they like, gotta bring. Oh, they on, gotta man. have. They gotta have. Y'all, y'all already know. We can, looking on the outside, is sending this money if he comes to our section. Looking on the outside, women that women that come with us, they might think that w- one of y'all might be dealing with us because right. they just don't know our relationship. Yeah, there's a thing. Right. But we get yeah. invited. We don't invite niggas we, out. We yeah. get invited out. I'm just yeah, saying, so they're not getting their own so, section. Yeah, so they're not telling. So you are not hoeing niggas. We don't. Basically, what you're saying, if we like. The only two places we would be would be at Jeff crib or would be at your crib. So if a nigga there that one of y'all do it, that's like a serious. Just mine. Yeah, I would yeah, say I that's serious so. because I feel like if we're either here or at Janelle's house, I would be like, okay, for y'all, for for you to come around my friends, like, and you see me in like, you know, this is like my most comfortable. You brought up a story, but continue. Huh? You, you brought up a story that happened this week. But okay, ahead. but like, I feel like I'm the most comfortable when I'm around y'all. Like, I could truly just be myself, and if I allow you to see that, then that means I'm taking you very serious. You're my boyfriend at that point. I yeah, think. I feel I'm like. I'm not bringing mm-hmm. any of just someone I'm talking to. But it's to just, I mean, I okay, it's anymore. different for y'all because y'all could just bring them around. So y'all, so y'all take, so you take being brought to see the friends like super serious. But I guess it just depends on what kind of. I like, mean, around the like, guy friends, my girlfriend, maybe around yeah. like, the third, fourth, fifth date. Okay, let, let, you, let you meet my friends kind of thing. Like, you know. Are we going to U Street and like the girls going to you okay. tell your man like, oh yeah, they come okay, with us. Okay, that's different. So if like we're like how we like okay, we all go to Apple. I'm like okay, well you know, so and so wanted to link up with me, so like I can bring him through. But if we're like chilling, like it's like that's how you know Jordy's a real nigga. <laughs> Jordy said, bring him through. <laughs> <laughs> The Bring, levels, yeah, <laughs> it's levels. Oh like, like, if I want, if, like, if I want Bull to come through, he's gonna come through. Yeah, I'm saying, <laughs> okay, okay, shit, shit. Hey, my Georgie, bad, yeah, yeah, get, get us. But hold on, so <laughs> all right, so quick, so quick story time. So this week, right? So I pull up to Seven Eleven, right? So boom, so this crazy thing. I pull up, I pull, I park. I see a nigga walking up to me. I'm thinking, oh that, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this nigga about to ask me for some money, just like you know oh when you pull up, when you pull up to a store and a nigga asks you for some money, but like, hey bro, let me get some change. If you got any change, you on your way out. I'm like, I'm like, oh shit, let me, let me, <laughs> let me act, yeah, let me act like I ain't got shit on me. Fuck, <laughs> boom. So I got out the car, I walked past him because he he was on the other side, came to me. I was like, damn, he gonna get me. So he got, like, hey yo, bro. I'm like, what's good? He be like, hey yo, there's a youngin in there with a red Gucci purse. Try to holler at her. I'm like, he said, no, 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 no. Just try to holler at her. I just want to see if she'll like, give you play. I'm like, all right, this nigga trying to throw me some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like, in my mind, like, oh, this free coochie. All right, bet. So, boom, I walk into 7 Eleven. I look around, like, damn, I don't see no shorty with the red Gucci. <laughs> and I don't I look, see the heat. <laughs> look at that red Gucci. And then, because in my mind, first I wasn't going to do it. I'm like, nah, this this might be a setup. I was like, fuck it. Right. We in court. So I'm like, all right, boom. So I checked the register. Shorty right there by the register. I'm like, damn, this is a bad. And she was walking around. Uh-huh. It had been easy money, but she about to leave yeah, and dip. So on the way out. It's, you know, it's yeah. time to this thing. So I, I approached her. I'm like, hey, yo, what's up? I'm like, excuse me, how you doing? No play. I'm like, damn. She is by the register. Uh, I get it. Right. It's too late. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to fuck around and get my shit and go. So I'm in line. Bull, Bull walks in. She walks out. Bull walks in. 
he be like, he's, he's on some like, hey, yo, I brought this one. I'm trying to change this one. Can I do this? Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Trying to, he be like, yo, what happened? Like, she ain't, she ain't even give me no play. She ain't no time. It's like, damn. <laughs> he's like, I'm trying to see if I got a whore. He was like, I put her on with my mans. And she, you know, she gave him some play. She, he fucked. So, he was like, I was trying to see if, you know, she would let niggas fuck. And she let niggas yeah, fuck? Yeah, so I was like, he's like, damn, bro. He's like, if I wasn't here, bro, she'd probably give you some play. <laughs> I was like, am I, am I, am I, I'm just laughing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like nigga, this is your joint. Like, okay. This ain't your bitch. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so, my question is, have y'all ever did that? Like, where y'all, like, purposely put a man through a test where, like, to see if he would go for one of your friends or see like a test, who, any kind of test, yeah, a like, test in general. Like, see if you were with him and if he did something, if he would do this in front of me, I know he'd do shit behind my back. First of all, I just want to make a joke right quick. <laughs> we saying a Gucci. <laughs> we was. Like, oh no! I'm not. No! 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 Nah, nigga, nigga thought he, time was cute. Nigga, so, yo, go take my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, he he asked anybody, asked Tom specifically. Yeah, yo, <laughs> I feel like you, nah. you her type. You kind of cute. You bro. can get my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, sorry, bro. Yeah, have y'all ever ever put anybody through a mm-hmm. test like that? A yeah, test? Any no. kind of test? Because mm-hmm. I feel like if I'm putting you through that, that like it's not worth shit. it. If I have to, te- yeah. have to, if I have to use my friend to test you on how loyal you are to me. Then we don't need to be whatever just, we are. Have you ever know. seen him like at the bar and like, like you go on a date or whatever, or if, or at the club or whatever at the lounge and you see like him talking to a girl and you just like sit back and look and maybe like be like, hmm, let me see how this nigga play this. Mm. Chelsea did. Like Jordan, 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 Jordan. <laughs> I mean, like, if a guy like you know you walking down the street then like a girl walks by she got a fat ass or something my things like how is he about to react right now. I, I feel like wait, we wait, wait, hold together. Together. I, hold on, I just have to I feel say like it. So would together. you want him to look or do you not want him to look? The thing is, I get it. It's natural because I might look too if it's like a really fat ass. Like, you know, <laughs> just like, it's just shocking in general. Right. So I might look too. It's True. just like, they are how shocked. much are you going to like break your neck and be mad disrespectful? Are you going to just be like, you know. Like, Damn, it's disrespectful to look? I, I don't, I think it's natural to look, but don't be disrespectful and just be like, you know. Nah, I'm not going to to look. I'm about to be like, you know? I'm going to get confirmation with her. Like, yo. You seen that? Nah. I feel like we should look together. <laughs> like, oh my god, be outrageous sometimes. I'm doing nah, that. Yeah, yeah. This. Be I'm doing crazy. that. I see Shorty coming this way. I'm already looking this way. <laughs> so when she go past, I'm I was already looking. Are you kidding? Why are you dropping secrets? The thing is, when Relax. they walk towards you, you can see in like the thighs. Yeah. I was like, damn. What what I need to look this what way? That with <laughs> what that Ku Klux Klan lover say? If you can see it from the front, wait till you see it from the back. <laughs> oh, <bro>. oh, <laughs> what? Oh, 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 Just be on the back, back, back. On the chats. So y'all never. Well, I'm about to say because well, boom. We've all know. Well, they know. That's hey, my Steve. When Tom get drunk, he be leading conversation podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm just looking at my guy like, oh, you out here right now. I'll play devil's advocate. I'll definitely put a jump through a test. Right now. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'll put a jump through a test. Yeah, because I'm about to say, so they know, y'all know. So, I mean, so it's, not, it's not really like uh, not story time. Not oh, I got stories. stories. Manipulators, let's go. How's it manipulators? So, it's not manipulators. Let me hear it. Wow. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's, just, it's not that long of a story. Wow. Wow. You definitely That's so the thing is nah, uh, we kinda this is like split the check a little bit. Okay. So damn that's like this is this first like first episode. episode. <laughs> this first episode. Check. I bought a so, lot of content. All right. I was putting my life on the line. You niggas was I was I nowhere to be found. Anyway, 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 anyway yeah, basically, you know, you really don't be knowing like females females, women, they really be, you know, having ulterior motives and like really be Promiscuous, scandalous, anything you want to name. Like, they don't really be how you think you is. So, right. I mean, sometimes you just got to bring them around a group, see how they react around you. Absolutely. Your and see if she chooses. Because a, a lot of times, I, we brought Jones around and they chose, chose not the nigga that brought them with it, that brought them. So, so no, no, listen, listen. I'm not taking this. We don't take it back. I think, us. listen, because that's, that's my, like I said, like I was going to say, these two know that's my steez. Like, probably your first rip or first, second rip. I'm bringing them out to my friends it's probably to, see, first, yeah. to see to see how she acts with them because I, I I know if you're doing this in front of my face 
you damn sure gonna do it behind my back. I don't right? even think it's a possibility you know what? that like my friend would be looking at my yeah. nigga but, that but, way. But but my like, thing is, but my for, I guess for niggas, no, it's like, I mean, not it's kind of different because it's yeah. different because like you're around, you're bringing a nigga around your friends. But for us, we're bringing like an outsider to our in group. Yeah. So like, but. Girls just really just and be, girls will choose. They choose all the time. All the time. You get around, you get around okay. a nigga. Let, 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 let a woman speak on it. I kind of want his friend. Let a woman speak on it. That happened to my friend where <laughs> a guy brought her to the studio, mm. and you know, it was a whole bunch of oh, she saw the flashing lights. Yeah, you oh, know, yeah. they Who had the this? bottles popping oh, and everything, man. and. Later on, my friend is finding out, like, yeah, the reason that they do that is to see, like, how th- she's going to move and, like, is she friendly? Like, is she going to talk to other people? Right. Like, you know, yeah, he just wants to see those. who he's messing with, like, who he's dealing with, and then you kind of carry away. So, like, that definitely makes see, sense. See, that's I mean, but, because the crazy thing is, she's saying we sickos. I think y'all just but, don't trust your friends. No, it's no, no it's, we, that's we, the we, thing. We, Most we of, don't do that with our friends. No, yeah, but look, like, like most of the time, it, it's never like we're. We're telling our niggas like, yo, see if she. Talks yeah, right, we're not. We're not giving we up our green lights. She just really just goes. Because why don't we ever feel need to do? I've never. I don't know about no, y'all. It's not I've a need to do. It's. To do it's this. I'm. A, this is why I'm most comfortable around my friends. Right. So if I can't even bring you around my friends without you acting up. Then I can't fuck with you, period. And uh, most of the time, it's not even like it's not even like a, she's heavily fucking with. Him. It's just like Kel come up, Kel come to me or Jeff come up to you or whatever. Someone come like yo, blah uh-huh. blah. I think she's feeling me or blah blah. blah. She's mm-hmm. giving me play. Mm-hmm. It's not even on like a yeah. I'm trying to take your bitch. It's, no, right. It's, it's like bro, I don't, I don't like the way she moves. She chooses. Yeah. And you hear in front of her. I don't like the way she and, moves. And when I bring her on the first day, it's like boom. That happened. She's for the gang. If you think you can get her. Get her right and exactly. Now nice. it's over. It's I know you've been in that situation. Yeah. Well, a lot of girls. Well, you probably <laughs> never went out and done that. Went somewhere with a group of yeah, with one guy done that, and no. done. But we've seen it done. Yeah. 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 Especially, yeah. especially if we Dude, just started fucking with each other. Well, most of the time. Oh, you done it? No, no. Okay. She got caught in the trap. Really? What did you got caught in the trap? With two out of three of us. She got caught in the trap. Okay. Well, most okay. Most of the time, when we bring. People around our friends, we already know that, like, we already feel confident yeah, that there's just us. And that's the difference. Yeah. That's the difference. Y'all bring, like, we're, we're, the, we're trying to find out. And yeah. Yeah. We already know. Janelle yeah. brings them out fourth, fifth date. We bring them out on first, first second, sleep. Yeah. First, second, yeah. I, I gotta bring them out. I don't know if you're worthy to meet my friends. Nah, I bring them out. No. See, I don't. I hang with. See, six, we. we you, no, see, you see. Wait, completely different. You hang with six foot successful niggas. I'm so I'm a, you, <laughs> see Kelsey, I'm Kelsey, a, I'm a, I'm a Kelsey, you bring you bring nigga, you bring people around because, like you said, you say I don't think you're worthy of my friends. We bring out women to our to our circle to see if you're worthy of our loyalty, and that's the big but difference. Why would she be loyal to if this is like your first time, like your second? No, time? because it's not, how you act in the beginning. That's how you the basis of loyalty. Not that's, talking to my friends when I brought you here. That's right. the basis. There's nothing to you. It don't. That's the point. That's, that's the, the point. building block. Like that's like, okay, the know. first. Like all right. Sidebar. I feel like this thing is funny that you saying that mm-hmm. she's nothing to you when you she's gonna be like, one to choose. You're trying to like mm-hmm. come for us saying for that we treat women like. No, no, it honestly, is something. This sounds like the it first or second something. time you're spending time together. If this is like your first time bringing on your friends, you barely know this girl. Clearly, that means right? all right. If she don't know me, that means I'm gonna find out. But what she, she came really here like. with me, and I just feel like this is from gonna be my perspective. Like we've been like talking probably. If I'm bringing you around with my friends, we probably been talking for like two weeks, three weeks. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm feeling you. You're obviously feeling me. I bring you around I my friends. If you choose my friends over me, I just understand and you why just y'all... met him this night. Right. Come I just on understand now. why y'all feel need to even do that when we. It's not. This is what we most that. comfortable with. This is where you bring yourself, and maybe you bring a friend or two. It's not that I'm we a, don't want to be around all niggas all day. We gonna we gonna tell people. And our friends will be our buffers. Right. They gonna tell us what's going on. Oh, how you acting? I bring, you acting I bring friends around my friends just because, like, sometimes women be boring. So my friends are fun. <laughs> I can do both. Like, I can do both yeah, now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> when I brought the young into the bowling alley, and she was born. Now I don't have to entertain her all fucking night by my damn self. I can ha- now your bros there. Let me go rotate. I got you, bro. I see you. Rich. <laughs> see you <laughs> <trying to laughs> let me go talk to her. See what she's talking about. Uh, <laughs> oh no, she's she's really hard to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> right, niggas who really come back and say that they're like, nah, like I don't. Bro, it's not why she tripping. Like, what's nah, because sometimes like, you think it's you, but you nah, bro. It's not ha- you. I don't have. It's my just her. Check out my niggas like that. Like I feel like I think you should. I, I think you should vet all your niggas through your friends. Yeah. Maybe. You should vet, yeah. Your friends should vet your niggas right. before you I'm, really start. I mean, <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want them to vet at this. I think it's too late. That's yeah. that's how they lose friends. I think that's how they lose friendships just like that. I think regardless if you know mm-hmm. it, you start bringing niggas around us. We're 
definitely gonna bet them for you. I'm gonna let you know if that nigga is Especially sick. Jordy. <laughs> right. We're like, Jordy be flexing us. Nigga, the, depending on where he from, we giving you a whole rap sheet. <laughs> Are we not? We giving yeah. her a whole rap sheet. Nah, I don't know about, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, what, he, really, what he's talking about? What he's yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. we're going gonna to dissect the conversation. I, think, I guess the thing is we wouldn't do it until like down the line and y'all do it like immediately. But And, and that's the problem. I think you should definitely yeah, do it online. Because then what if your friends don't like your nigga? Now you're going to have to choose between your nigga and your friend. And you're going to choose your no, nigga no, because yeah. y'all do I mean, choose I mean, nigga. And now especially that we're older, Never we would happens. choose our friends over. No, you would choose. Now that you're older, you're choosing your nigga. You're definitely choosing a nigga. Because you want to get married. You don't want to be. I'll keep No, I don't No, I definitely, I'm definitely on their side. It depends on how old you are Because I definitely have Chosen the girl over the friend And it was a new friend I met Actually mm-hmm. in college You yeah. remember So Chosen the the girl over the friend Yeah And obviously the girl didn't work out And then now the friend was like You know what I'm saying Like left out Not yeah. even left out Yeah and Like and proven to be Last longer than the, the Than the homegirl yeah. So You've it's been like, the friend has been left for a nigga yeah. Oh yeah happens? And right. it happens easy with women. No, but it happens. I think because niggas. Has been niggas... Left for a girl. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that. I, remember that. Yeah. So, I, I got. All right. So Georgie. Since I'm leading shit. Since I'm leading shit. I get him drunk all the time. <laughs> oh, three shots before the podcast. Wow. All right. What's the most toxic shit you ever did? Wow. Mm. Out the gate. Out the gate. You got hmm. five seconds to flip it to anybody you want to. Five. No, no, four, no, no. Nope. You got five seconds. <laughs> you got five seconds to one. answer or it's a shot. I need the truth. Okay. I need the unfiltered. Right. That shot gonna hurt worse. The most re- well, I don't say recent. Don't say recent. Just say recent. most toxic. Okay, you don't want to snitch yourself. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that here. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Speak no evil now. It was a Christmas ago. Okay. Where you breaking niggas' hearts on Christmas? You heartless. Valid. That's the season of business. Damn. 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 You giving away. Nigga never had a chance. <laughs> you gonna hey, break his heart on Christmas? You had Thanksgiving to break them all, but right. no. You waited wait Christmas. Christmas. I'm gonna wait till this the you best. Wait till it's Christmas. the happiest time of the year, ain't it? <laughs> the yeah. So go ahead. Not for him, it wasn't. Okay. So I was originally supposed to go to dinner with my sister to Ruth Chris, but my sister canceled on me. So, I mean, I'm already in conversation with the dude. I'm like, yeah, my sister canceled on me. I'm not going to Ruth Chris no more. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do for Christmas dinner. Okay. He's already at Cheesecake Factory with his family. Okay. He asked me what time the reservation I had already made for Ruth Chris was. And I said, oh, 7.15. Mm-hmm. It's probably like 6. It's like 6 o'clock. Okay. So then he's like, oh, I can meet you at Ruth Chris. I'm like, huh. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> he can so, meet you there, huh? So, I mean, I end up going home. He end up leaving Christmas dinner with his family and going to Ruth Chris. Wait, hold on. This nigga left a whole family <laughs> dinner for you? And I asked him, I was Christmas? like, what did you say? And then he said he had one of his mans call him pause, at the dinner. Pause. Go use the bathroom. <laughs> Go use the bathroom. I don't want to interrupt. Okay. It's weird. You, you interrupted yeah. when you did all this. Why did you, why did you stop her? You could have just told her that yeah. by yourself. I tried to, but Janelle wouldn't try to let her out. I did. I went like this. Janelle, what'd you just do? Keely's the Nothing. I can't do anything. <laughs> I literally didn't do anything. <laughs> 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 continue your story, cousin. Yeah, yeah, continue your story. Continue story. No, I think we should wait until Chelsea gets back now. No, no. I, In I that case, I got to No, no, we haven't got to continue. I got to pee. Oh, God. Rookies. Jesus. Fucking rookies. What are we... So, all right. Everybody's listening to this far along. We thank you. We applaud you. We appreciate you. So uh, we're, we're about to, all right, since they're gone, we're going to do a mini game with Georgie right here. Okay. No, I, no, can no. Georgie finish your story now? Oh, wait, well, yeah, because your we're friends are hurt. Your friends yeah. are hurt. So yeah. they're yeah. Okay. So. I mean, like, what are we doing with editing when, this, when it comes to this? Keep it up. Like, <laughs> actual? Okay. <laughs> so. Bro, all right. Um. So, yeah, he said that he, I, I asked him, wow. See? In the so rib. Okay. Um, so. I asked him, I was like, so how did you end up leaving? Because it's like, mind you, he's at family, like, Cheesecake Factory on Christmas. Mom, stepdad, little brothers and sisters. Right. Mind you, like, it's Christmas. They're the type of family that do, like, the whole PJs in the living room. Like, so I was like, how did you, like, end up leaving your family? And he was just like, he said he had one of his mans call him. Said that he really needed him to pick him up. And <laughs> so, and so, um... He was like, he told his mom, he's like, yeah, I gotta go, you know, meet so and so. And his mom was like, all right. So then he left. He even went back home and like changed. Right. Came met me, still met me at like 
Well, the reservation yeah. was like seven fifteen, like maybe like seven thirty. Right. So it wasn't that long. And then yeah, we had with Chris together. Wait, did he pay for it? Oh yeah, most definitely. That's my dog. Oh, see. Definitely. I, I, I already know you. You gonna get some later for yeah. food. Uh, listen, I know you. <laughs> like I know I, you. I with the podcast. If, if Joy, you gonna do anything? She, she gonna get that she free gonna food. Get that fucking free food. Shit. You better believe. Shit. You better believe. Oh, Damn. Shit. All right. So now, I mean, everybody's wait, gone, wait, hold on. guys. Wait. Understand, we've been recording for a long what? time. Can I, can I get the next part of story? You got another oh, part? Oh, Jesus Christ. So, after George, Christmas... George, you need her own podcast. <laughs> I think she's good, bro. After Christmas good. dinner, oh, so okay, the next right. day, I was actually... The couch that I have in my living room, I was getting it... I was I had to pick it up, but I didn't have, like... You talking about the curb now? Yeah. Okay. So, the couch, you know, I only had my dad that was going to help me, but I was like, damn, maybe I can help... Maybe I can get this nigga to help my dad. Mm. With the couch, wow. and you got this nigga. Do you still talk to this nigga? No. I was like, thank God. Wait, because what if he listens to question. this? Does he? Question. Does he follow? Real quick. Real quick. No. I, no. Real quick. They, no. They got voice. Wow. <laughs> she, oh, she said no. She, no. I mean, we're being honest. Absolutely not. She didn't have grown up time with him. Right. No. Nope. Right. And he still happen. did this. Right. Was he a six? Was he a what? Was he a six? What like, would you What would you rate him one to ten? Hmm. Kelsey's back. Hmm. I don't think I saw him. She got this nigga I doing all of yeah, this shit. A six. And he, a six. Mm-hmm. Okay. And y'all okay. be talking about um, us. And Janelle be talking about us being. So toxic. so so so. See, Ke- this is what we deal with on the regular, and this is why we're like how we are. So Kelsey, what's the most toxic thing you? And if you put that goddamn beer on the table, we gonna have a problem. If you if you, um, <laughs> what's. <laughs> This guys, is uncut, guys, unraw. Unraw, uncut, <laughs> cut. Kelsey, unraw. Guys, honestly, Tom. You saw, you saw him do that. <laughs> all right. So, bro, yeah. Um. Whew, all right. So, it's been a long episode. Yes. What, what were you? Kelsey, t- lot, can we, Kelsey, tell me what's your most toxic thing you've done. I don't think I've done anything toxic. All right. Well, we did have, we did have many games and drinking games, but clearly... The crowd can't handle it. Nah. So I think okay. The one toxic no, thing that I did. Okay. What, what, what? No, go ahead. This because I asked you. And, all right. So, uh, due due to yeah. So everything's going on right now. We're just gonna wrap this episode up. Um, don't forget. So don't forget to like us or uh, like and subscribe on po- Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, SoundCloud. Share, 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 share. And subscribe. Um, all hundred of you people that listen, share with a friend of a friend of a friend. Please, we could use it. You know what I'm saying? We'll be back at Mama Stella's next week. Uh, most likely. Uh, we couldn't record there today because they were dealing with the phase two of COVID and stuff. So they had more reservations and stuff. Uh, due to us, honestly. You know what I'm saying? But That's what happens when you, when, you know, you, you bring conscious ignorance on to... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bring conscious ignorance to your business. And you know what I'm saying? You just see how you get elevated. But appreciate y'all for listening. Definitely, if y'all listen to all of this, thank you, thank you, thank you.